Sammy? Oh, that was so, so cool! <laughs> He's an anime character now. I love it. Sammy is now... Hey, what is going on guys? Listen, we are so, so, so excited to finally be sharing this video with you guys. Our real life Mario Kart experience through the streets of Tokyo. We were there last November uh, and it's taken us this long to make the video just because we're bad people. She's not, I am. Real quick, before we get into it, as I was looking back through footage, what I realized was we actually had a really late night the night before because it was my birthday. So we were out in Tokyo with friends, family, uh, having a good time. The day of, as we kind of rolled up, I was just lazy and I didn't want to take my camera out of my bag so I ended up filming everything on uh, iPhone we had the new iPhone 11 Pro it just come out at the time so I thought it would be fun since we've done this much on iPhone just to do the rest of the vlog all shot on iPhone so that's what we're doing right now with the exception of just a couple of shots that were from a GoPro while I was driving the go-kart it was strapped to my chest so I wouldn't have my phone out so to help you differentiate between the GoPro footage and the iPhone footage down here in the right hand corner of the video it'll say either shot on iPhone or shot on GoPro the whole video just so you know but uh, yeah I guess we figured Apple needs the publicity. Uh, I'm not sure why we're doing this. I just think it's so cool that these cameras in our pockets are already powerful enough to do this. So to set the stage here, before we get to Mario Kart, it's this guy's 33rd birthday. So of course we're gonna go all out in Tokyo to celebrate. So we stopped at none other than Robot Restaurant. Amazing. If you've never heard of it, you've gotta check it out. It's mm. kind of a, a really amazing show with dinner and we didn't wanna do a whole vlog around it, but we had to show you some of the clips. So after that, it was kind of my lifelong dream to go do karaoke in the same place that Bill Murray does it in the movie Lost in Translation. And so we were right by that. So after Robot Restaurant, we went out, we did karaoke. It was a super fun, ridiculous time. We get back to the place where we're staying at like two o'clock in the morning. And we've gotta be up at like 7.30 or eight, just so we have time to like get breakfast, make the train, get to where we need to go on time. Jenna, our friend who is with us, is a diehard college football fan, Alabama. So she woke up at like four o'clock in the morning, our time, to watch the Alabama game. And then I'm not even sure if she went back to sleep before we left again. So anyway, it was a crazy night, but we wanted to give you guys just a little bit of a view on what all of that was like before, and then we'll take a look at Mario Kart. How you feeling there, birthday boy? High anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I know, right? That's what we said. It's a completely indescribable show. It was a ridiculous night, super fun. I think the show lasts like an hour or so, so we barely showed you any of it, but you've got to check out Robot Restaurant if you're ever in Tokyo. And if you go to Japan, you gotta get your karaoke songs ready. Don't worry, they have English songs as well, but it's epic. Yeah, and those were like private rooms, by the way. That's the only way I would ever do karaoke. We were not in front of a room full of strangers. You get like your own little private room with friends. They bring the drinks right to your door. It's super fun. So now we'll show you a completely uninterrupted view of uh, the Mario Kart experience, what that was like, and then we'll answer some questions afterwards. All right, Jenna, are you happier to do this than you look? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sammy, you look, you look ripped. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>
How was it, babe? It was so, it was like pedal to the metal, foot all the way down, wind blown, like, yeah. For real. Jenna, you feeling all right? I love it. Favorite part? Uh, just like all of it. All the way <laughs> there was one part that we went over a bridge that was really cool. That was yeah, super was dope. Super Sammy? All of it was so, so cool! <laughs> she is an anime character now. <laughs> I love it. Sammy is now, I it. Sammy is now a four year old girl. That's so awesome. Okay, guys, it is literally as fun as it looks. Mm -hmm. You are on real streets in Tokyo, and it's no joke. I mean, these carts go like 40 miles per hour, and you're in real traffic, stopping at stoplights, waving to little Asian children looking out the window as you're dressed up in a panda costume. This is life right now. Unbelievable. I think that's the first thing that, that I thought about while we were out there and we talked about afterwards was this doesn't work in America. And obviously, Americans go to Tokyo. They do this whole go-kart, Mario Kart thing. Um, but it's it's the people. It's the people in traffic. I feel like in America, we just would be too angry to have people having fun on go-karts or whatever. Instead, it felt like I was in a parade and you're like, waving and Literally. you're making people's day just by being dressed it up. It was interesting. Even our guide even told us in the beginning, he said, hey, uh, you know, Japanese people are very shy, so everyone's going to be looking at you, but they may look really serious. If they are staring at you, smile and wave back and they'll do the same thing. And every single time you'd be getting this look, someone would be kind of like looking at you like, I don't know what's going on. You just kind of smile and wave and they'd be like, like so happy, but it was incredible to see like businessmen and parents and kids like taking people with, pictures of us taking yeah. their phones. Like, yeah, it, it just like it was as fun for them as it was for us almost. So if you're interested in checking it out, it's a really easy process. They provide you a guy that will speak English and kind of give you the rules of the road so that you have a fun, safe time. Getting tickets was really easy, but it was also really interesting. You don't buy them from the actual company that gives the tour guides. I think there's maybe two or three different companies that that are really well known for it. But uh, Kate actually got the tickets on Facebook. You buy them, there's like an intermediary company that will say, hey, here's the options. Um, there's different tours in different parts of Tokyo and they're all different lengths. They all look really fun. I actually think after we did some research, the one we did was in Akihabara uh, and there's the others look even cooler. You can do them at night through the middle of Shibuya Crossing and all sorts of cool stuff. But the point being, you do wanna do this far in advance because there's that intermediary company. We actually bought everyone's tickets once and then like I think a day and a half later, they got back to us and said, hey, the one that you want is sold out. Um, we had already, I thought we'd already paid and like we were set. So it wasn't a big deal. We found another day and time to go that worked out really well for us. But just know there are a few things that you need to have kind of in order before you get there too. One of the things you do need to prepare beforehand is you need an international driver's license. So it's nothing difficult or hard. You can go to a place like AAA, pay them 20 bucks. It's just some paperwork and you bring it with you. Yeah, there's not even a test. You literally pay $20 and get your picture taken and <laughs> congratulations you can drive and I don't know I don't know what all the restrictions that driver's license comes with but it's good enough to drive a go-kart in Tokyo so on the opposite <laughs> side of the road that you usually yeah. drive on so. yeah. the other nice thing is your guide will take pictures of your group for you so you can bring your own phone and there's like a little pocket where you can store it and you can take your own pictures when you're at a stoplight but it is nice to have a guy who will take a picture of your whole group this dude like he knows the angle he was like on his back laying down on the ground yeah taking these pictures so he could get Tokyo Tower behind us. Another really cool thing I thought was neat is they'll rent you the GoPro camera, the harness, and the SD card if you need it. I brought my own SD card and it was literally like $4 to rent the GoPro. Maybe the prices have changed, don't quote me on that, but. So as a caveat, we keep calling it Mario Kart, but every company will tell you we are not affiliated with yeah. Mario. And unfortunately, there are no actual like Mario character like costumes. Those are the only ones they don't have. So they're like very cautious in all of their websites to um, be clear. We would call it Mario Kart and they would keep going, we're not Mario Kart. Like <laughs> we're not affiliated with Nintendo at all. So all in all, I definitely think it's worth checking out. It's such a unique thing to be able to say, I've ridden in the mm -hmm. streets of Tokyo, dressed up in costumes, on a go-kart, um, with real traffic. I mean, it's super fun. It really is. And uh, we've spoken to people of all ages who've done this there and every single person loved it. Everybody on the trip, said, yeah, hands down, Mario Kart was like the highlight. I think the only thing in terms of like fun activities that might edge Mario Kart out of like first place for me is Robot Restaurant. So like between those two, those are like, 
don't do any research. You don't need to look into it anymore. Just go in not knowing anything and you're gonna have so much fun, but yes, you have to do it. So yeah, that's it for the most part. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link is in our bio for where we bought the tickets. Also, if you have questions that we didn't answer, uh, then drop those in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer those and maybe do a follow-up if needed. But we still got a bunch of fun Japan footage coming, so uh, mm -hmm. stay tuned for all that. And that's it, stay safe. Bye.